Hi all, I'm Giovanni Bechis, I'm a member of Apache HTTP DPNC, and today I'm going to talk about uh, ECMI protocol and uh, ModMD. ModMD is uh, an Apache HTTP module that has been created to ease all TLS related operations from TLS management using the ACME protocol, so automatic HTTPS certificate management and uh, HTTPS certificate renewals, OCSP stapling, uh, and all what's related to TLS in Apache HTTP world. A bit of history, uh, SSL is all protocol, it was released in 1995, it has been deprecated later in 2015 in favor of TLS. TLS is much more secure, SSL is actually absolutely deprecated, deprecated and won't be used. HTTPS is the short form of architecture of so protocol secure, it can be called HTTPS over TLS or HTTP over SSL if SSL or TLS is used as the crypto layer. Uh, ModernD uh, works on both on, on HTTP over TLS and HTTP over SSL. Obviously, uh, all the SSL should not be used because it's it's not secure uh, and the same for all TLS versions. At least TLS 1 or 2 or 1 or 3 should be used in the real world secure websites. HTTPS certificates uh, are of three, basically three types. Uh, domain validated certificates, which is the only type of HTTPS certificate that can be automated. Uh, Using Acme protocol and uh, uh, CA that supports Acme protocol, like for example, let encrypt. Because uh, this is because doing all the certificates uh, check only if you can manage the domain. It doesn't check if you. The domain you registered is bound to your company. This is something that it's it's a manual operation that uh, is done when you require an organization validated certificate or an standard validated certificate. So, uh, due to this manual operation and, and manual checks, only domain validated certificates can be deployed using ACME protocol. What you should do to have an HTTPS certificate without any automation, so the old way is uh, you have to choose certificate authority, you have to select the certificate you need. Uh, at this stage, if you need an OV or EV, so organization validated or organization validated certificate, you have to do the old way, you know, so manual approach. Otherwise, you can use ACME protocol and automate all the stuff. Uh, if you want to proceed this, the manual way, you have to purchase certificate. You have to generate on your server a certificate signing request and send to the CA. Then, when the CA has check has done all the needed checks, you have, you have to download the SSL certificate from the CA website and uh, install it. Then you have to remember to renew the certificate in time. ECMI protocol automates all of this. It's a communication protocol that permits automate 
<clears throat> automating interaction between CA, so specific authorities, uh, and web servers. So the web server asks just asks the CA that he want a new certificate for his domain, it, send, it generates the CSR, the, the CA signs the CSR check after checking that the domain is valid and in completely automated manner it installed certificates without any uh, manual user integration. Basically the protocol is a, a key exchange between uh, the web server and the CA. So the web server asks the CA the you want to sign a certificate, the, the CA tell the web server that to prove that that domain is owned by the web server itself, so it, it tell well put the string into this directory and I will grab it and if the CA can grab the correct a file on the current the, 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 the directory or in the case of white certificate you can check that there exists a particular TC DNS record then it will sign the CSR request and the the chain will, will be closed and the web server will have its HTTPS certificate The most mostly used uh, uh, ACME protocol available certificate CA is SAS Encrypt, which is a non profit authority run by Internet Security Research Group, which is a non profit group um, created by Mozilla, Google, and a lot of other companies lot of other big companies and it the intention is to use ACME protocol to deploy as much certificates for free to have quite all websites protected by HTTPS certificates. At the moment uh, uh, less encrypt is used uh, by uh, more than 200 million website and, and, and it's, it's counting and it's increasing the, num the number every day. There are a lot of ACME clients implementation or that are written in different languages that have different features. Uh, the, I think the most important ones are uh, uh, Setmod, which is has been developed by Let's Encrypt itself, which is the default client. <coughs> Acme.sh, which is completely bash client that uses curl to get another external software to maintain the certificate chain. OpenBSD as its own uh, BSD licensed Acme client. WinAcme is a Windows software that made possible to use Let's Encrypt certificates on Windows servers. And Apache HTTPD ModemD, which is being integrated into Apache HTTPD and make it very, very easy to use HTTPS certificates when using Apache HTTP Deliver Server. ModemD has a lot of interesting features. Uh, some obvious, some not. Uh, first one is certificate request using Acme protocol. Uh, automatic certificate renewal, so you do not have to remember to uh, run or schedule software using Crunchhub to renew the certificates because it's the web server that 
will take care of it. It can manage wildcard certificate software. It has an interface to have certificate sent monitoring, so you can, in, in a very easy, interesting way, you can know when a certificate will expire and uh, if uh, it's uh, in some kind of error state and so on. In a very easy way, you can deploy uh, notifications when the certificate is going to expire or when um, there's something wrong that's going on and it finally has OCSP stable in support so it can use uh, its own OCSP stable implementation instead of using the standard uh, model SSL one. Moment the MD is <coughs> configuration is based on typical beautiful configuration that you can find in httpd.com uh, file. You decide which server names are protected, uh, are managed by modern D with the end domain directive, then one important thing is that you have to use any certificate agreement accepted because uh, when you use last encrypt CA, you basically uh, accept uh, the agreement with uh, the CA, so you have to specify that you accept this agreement and you read all this legal uh, information that's written has been written on the last encrypt website. Uh, you define the usual process as you always you do. You define uh, that you use uh, SSL, so with SSL and GNR, but you know, do not define where will be the private and public keys of the HTTPS certificate because it's more than the that will manage that and will instruct the core and the models uh, where those files will be. Uh, Modern D has mm, a direct dedicated directory where it stores information. Um, it has some files and some directories. The most important ones are accounts. So you, you can, for example, have multiple accounts, multiple executive accounts for multiple domains or multiple customers or whatever. You have uh, a temporary directory. Uh, and basically, files are created in a temporary directory, then if they're moved into staging, when the domain is finally the certificate is finally created and from staging it goes to the mains and then when the domain is renewed the old certificate will go to archive directory. This is very important because uh, active certificate, private public keys both will go to the mains directory. This is uh, this is interesting because uh, you can use for example the certificate contained in the domain directory to um, for different uses like uh, you can for example use modern D to renew certificates uh, manage TLS certificate but then not using for HTTP service but instead you can use for for example email services using uh, by making email MTA software points to the domain's directory. Modern D can manage what kind of certificates as well. Uh, this is a bit different because uh, the Play Wildcard Certificate ECMI protocol will not ask you to create uh, a file inside the directory as in the standard certificate, but it will ask you to create a TXT record in the DNS 
so you have to complete some step uh, in a different way. You have to specify MD and each HNS1 and a file. And this file, which is used to be an ECMI setup DNS in this example, will take the as input to the TC DNS record that you should create and in some way you should write something that automates the deploy so creates for example the uh, TXT record uh, that the CA asked you for and remove all other certificates so you need uh, a bit of interaction between HTTP and uh, your DNS server uh, you probably need uh, some API uh, that can be provided, for example, by your DNS provider to interact and create some fly TC records needed uh, for this operation to succeed. Some of features uh, that can be Interesting and uh, that can for can other ACME implementation doesn't help. Uh, one important is MD requires HTTPS, which could be off temporary or permanent. Uh, that means that, for example, you can define that a website uh, must be accessed using HTTPS and by setting MD, MD requires HTTPS permanent. Uh, there will be an automatic redirect from HTTP to HTTPS without the uh, need to specify uh, module write rules. Then you have a can two different uh, uh, values from MD Renew window and the work window. So when the certificates will be renewed, 33% uh, will be will mean that in the 90 days uh, at when at 60 after 60 days it will be renewed and the will window will be that if it's not renewed renewed uh, until 9 days to the end it will start uh, more than the will start warn you that something is gonna go bad with MD private keys, you can define how private key will be created, so you can specify the protocol, the crypto algorithm, uh, and how big the crypto key will be created. So, where say 2048 is standard, but you you can you can increase the key size or the or change the algorithm. MD content email is the mail when where let's encrypt. Uh, will warn you about uh, certificates not being uh, renewed, but more than you will can warn you as well. Um, certificates that are revocated by external parties, for example, when the CA have to revocate some of the certificates and so on. So it's very important that this mail exists and that someone can read this mail. Uh, then there is MD stable, MD stable, MD stable others, which is an important feature of modern D, which is a new implementation of MD stabling. So a new implementation of all CSP stabling. So if you activate this feature, OCCP stapling uh, will not be managed by the model cell, but will be managed by the model MD. OCCP responder is a server that the browser asks information to, to know if a particular certificate has been renewed, has been re removed, uh, uh, or something happened to the certificate. Uh, and the, with the MD tabling of the browser as both the web server and the speed responder. So yeah, you first 
asks to the web server which is the certificate, then asks to the OSPA, CSPA responder if the certificate is still valid uh, or if it has been revoked. And then it finally connects to the web server. And this data is a caching mechanism that uh, made it possible to improve speed on the HTTPS request because uh, the browser just asks the web server about its certificate and about the status of the certificate itself. The web server every Sunday asks the OSP, OSP responder the status and the information about revoking about his certificate and it creates a cache. So it's on, a, on its side, it's faster to, re, to respond to HTTPS requests. On the other side, it can reply with the data. Monitoring is, uh, is done using uh, mod status. So you have information in the, the classical mod status uh, web page. And other than that, you can ask using curl or whatever web, web client you want for information like if information on a particular certificate. You, you can ask for information and a JSON reply will be sent back. This is easy to understand uh, just by looking to it or to implement uh, some more complex monitoring tools. You have also other information using different uh, API endpoints. Um, for example, what's the status of the certificate renewal if, for example, it's stuck at uh, a particular state in the certificate pro process. Uh, so you can better understand, uh, for example, why a particular certificate fails in renewing. About monitoring, there are also a couple more common, more configuration commands that's very interesting, which is MD notify CMD and uh, you know, latest versions and the message CMD. Uh, those commands are very similar and uh, are scripts that you must write uh, that accept uh, an action and uh, a domain name as parameter. So you have, for example, in MD message in CMD that covers all features of MD defense CMD and more. Uh, you have, you could, for example, write a simple script that means you when does it, any action or on a particular on any domain? So you will, for example, receive an email as a, a particular domain has been renewed, has been OCS be renewed, or it's going to expire, or there's an error, and so on. Uh, or well, you can write whatever you want at this stage. Uh, so modern D is a very very I think that's very very useful tool. To implement HTTPS, to ease uh, transition to HTTPS only websites that can be easily integrated in more complex situations. Thank you for listening. I hope.